Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to extend the PoE distance for IP PoE bird box camera system. Well, we know that we use a PoE bird box camera for bird watching. It makes our lives more easier when we're watching birds, and it is really convenient and benefits us greatly. Although due to the technology, the PoE is usually limited to 100 meters due to the IEE 02.3 protocol. Usually when we go over 100 meters with regular devices, it can own, the device, the transmission, will start to decay, the signal decays, the power is not enough for powering devices at the end. So then we have figured out to use some other devices to kind of power up or repeat the signal and make the distance larger than 100. So, today I have already set up bird box camera system which is functioning properly and we're going to try to use a PoE extender and make it go another 100 meters further. So, you can see I have already connected our bird box camera to this 100 meter ethernet cable and the ethernet cable is receiving power and data from this injector and our main network. This is a really common setup if we have uh, we have a bird box camera in our residential areas because we usually use a regular router which does not have PoE features so we can need this injector and we'll inject the power to our ethernet cable along with the data and it will send to our bird box camera and our bird box camera can you know function properly just with one ethernet cable really convenient and if we have an idea someday to go a little bit further on into, into the backyard, then we're going to need longer distance, longer ethernet cables. But due to the protocol, we're going to have to look for a device that will help us. Now this in my hand is a PoE extender. Its, it's principle is really easy. There is a chip and microboard inside. When it receives the PoE signal in, from this port, this one input port, I will repeat the signal and boost up the power a little and then go further on. And then it can also divide into two output ports, which has a maximum of 30 watts of power output, but it's just the maximum, we don't have to worry. And usually, if we only want to extend one device, we can use a knob and seal this one, but you know, the greater the, the more the better in case someday we want an extra camera which I'll show you guys how to do in my next video then we can add another camera without connecting one more ethernet cable back to our main network it saves the port and it also saves a little bit like another hundred meters of ethernet cable and we don't have to get another extender so win-win so today we're going to connect our ethernet cable to this and use uh, any other length of Ethernet cable, lower than 100 of course, and connect it with one of these ports. And then we shall be able to operate or receive power and images on our bird box camera. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Well first of all, we disconnect our bird box camera with our 100 meter ethernet cable. So this end, we already have 100 meters. We're gonna have to go further on. So 100 meters in this PoE extender. So now I can see on our PoE extender, we have the LAN indicator on, on the PoE inside. And now I'm gonna connect our bird box camera to the output port. And you guys can see that the outside casing is metal. This will prevent the water and dust from going inside and compromising our components inside and the dust. And also, of course, we have knobs here to secure and seal the space around the ethernet cable. But for my convenience, I removed that part so it would be easier. So now both indicators are on, but this means that this is a thorough connection and I'm going to leave it here and wait for my bird box camera to warm up and then I shall see some images on my phone. I'll show you guys. 
So now let's take out our mobile device, any device that has our application installed, the ICC, and we open the application. Then we log in and we'll see that we have, you know, because we already have this camera set up, we'll have the camera in our device list. We open the camera, we see the image, and I'll show you guys my finger in front of the camera. So you guys know this is a live feed. So I'm going to twiddle my fingers. So yeah, everything's all set. So this whole connection is perfect. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions about how to extend our PoE system, I'll, you can leave them at the section below, the comment area, I'll also tell you guys. And thank you guys for watching today, and goodbye.